Welcome to an exciting new school year. Instrumental music is available to all Montgomery County students beginning in the fourth grade. We will take a look at a variety of instruments, but be sure to check with the instrumental music teacher at your school for more information and to confirm your selection. Holly Pasquale, and this is the flute. The flute's a great instrument. You play the flute by blowing across the hole almost like you would a bottle if you wanted to make a sound. And then you push a different combination of keys to get the notes. And if you change your, your embouchure, or you change how you form your lips, you can play lower or you can play really high. My name is Mr. Bowling and I'm going to introduce you to the clarinet. The clarinet is very similar to the recorder, however, the clarinet has a piece of wood on it called a reed, and when you blow on the reed, it vibrates and makes a sound. Hi, I'm Mr. Stevens. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the saxophone. The saxophone is a woodwind instrument, even though it's made of brass. Uh, the reason it's uh, considered a woodwind instrument is because when you blow into the mouthpiece, uh, there's a little piece of wood here, we call it a reed, that vibrates, and so when you blow into the mouthpiece and vibrate the reed, that's what creates the sound. Uh, one cool thing about the saxophone is it commonly plays both classical and jazz music, so this is a little jazz tune for you. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Gillenwater and I'm here to introduce you to the trumpet today. Uh, the trumpet is one of our brass instruments and you might be noticing that my instrument is actually silver, uh, but you can make a brass instrument out of any metal or really any material. They even come uh, in plastic. Uh, but traditionally all brass instruments were made out of brass and that's how it got the name. Uh, what's unique about a brass instrument or the brass family is you produce the sound by buzzing your lips. So everyone can press their lips together and <laughs> And believe it or not, when I'm playing the trumpet, I'm doing that to create a sound. Hi guys, my name is Mr. Dowlin. Uh, I play trombone and so I'm demonstrating this today. It's one of the most versatile instruments out there. It does rock, it does orchestra, it does jazz. 
It's a brass instrument, so it has one of these mouthpieces. We buzz on it. We plug it into the brass instrument. And it makes a sound. This is the trombone. The trombone has a slide. If the slide does come off, if you're testing it, make sure that you don't drop the slide. But we can do things that other instruments can't. We can sound like cars. All right, that's called a glissando. So I'm going to uh, play a piece that demonstrates a glissando for you guys. And I hope you choose the best instrument out there, the trombone. Hi, my name is Miss C and I'm here to show you the euphonium today, which is also called the baritone. The euphonium slash baritone is a member of the brass family. It has valves like a trumpet, but has a mouthpiece that's about the same size as the trombone. The euphonium and baritone get to play really cool musical parts, including melodies and really beautiful sections. <laughs> My name is Ms. Shoup, and I play percussion. Percussion includes a lot of different instruments. In fact, anything that can be hit or struck with a stick or mallet is a percussion instrument. As a percussionist, you often start with the bells. The bells are laid out like a piano, but instead of keys, we have these metal bars that you hit with mallets. Being a percussionist means you also get to play different drums. This is the snare drum. The snare drum is unique because it uses wires on the bottom, called snares, to give it its distinctive sound. Hey, I'm Mr. Godinez. I'm here to talk about the violin, uh, one of my favorite instruments, even though they all are. And it's got four strings, and we bow it with this stick with hair, and it's called a bow. Uh, right here, you can make different sounds like this, which is we call it plucking or pizzicato. And um, I like all the different voices that it has. It can go low or it can go high, like or. And here's a song that I picked out for you. Hi, I'm Mr. McAllister, and I'm here to show you the viola today. Like the violin, the viola has four strings, and you can play it by plucking or with the bow. The viola is slightly different than the violin in that it is slightly larger and plays slightly lower notes. So while it has more of a lower range, it sometimes doesn't play quite as high as the violin can. Here's a selection I prepared for you today. I'm 
Miss Mathis, and this is the cello. The cello is like a large violin. It's the exact same shape, but it's a lot bigger. And so big, we have to sit when we play it. I can play the cello plucking. And often, we play it with the bow. The cello has four strings, and they go as low as this, and the highest string is this one. I'm going to play a little song you might recognize. Shallow.